Buya, it's your girl Buya, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be a tutorial on this look. Ever since I wore this look in one of my comparison videos, madami talaga sa inyo nag-request na gawan ko ng tutorial yung look na to. The steps are very easy to follow, and yung mga products na ginamit ko for this look ay napaka-affordable la. And speaking of the products, I'll be listing down the complete products in the description box below. And by the way, a little disclaimer lang that some of the links sa description box below are affiliate links which means I may earn a small commission when you buy products through those links. And that commission, guys, will really help sustain and grow this channel. So if you want to support me, this is one way to support the growth of my channel. All right, so the first thing that I did, obviously, was to prepare my face, moisturize, skincare, whatever. But off-screen, I did that. If you want to know what my skincare routine is for dry skin, let me know in the comment section below so that I can make a separate video for it. But anyway, for the first step, I applied the Squad Cosmetics na foundation stick and this is in the shade Sandy Beige. I just lang it just because I've already tried the shade Medium Tan and the Warm Light. And I also wanted to check out if the Sandy Beige would be like the perfect shade for me. But apparently, it's parang a bit darker pa. But it still works out. Parang medyo nag-tan lang ako ng konti. Hindi naman siya yung parang orange level na pangit yung itsura. It, it still looks good. And by the way, this is the type of foundation stick that I would only recommend for people na my dry skin. I wouldn't really recommend this to people who have oily skin. I feel like mas mag-grease up sila throughout the day. And after I apply the foundation, of course, nagko-contour talaga ako agad with a cream contour stick and that is yung kay Care line na contour stick. And I really, really love their contour stick because yung balance ng pagka-warm and pagka-cool tone ng contour na to is napaka-perfect lang. And it gives me the right shadow that I need. I love using cream contours or cream products in general because I have dry skin. And mas natural siya tingnan kapag nag-contour powder lang ako. Parang pinatong lang siya na powder. Whenever I wear a cream contour beneath it or even a cream blush. Parang contour from within siya or blush from within. And now for my blush, I used Sunny's Face Fluff Matte in the shade Brunette. The reason why I used Brunette or I didn't use any like peachy shade is because I want to keep this look nude and just low-key. And actually, when I wore this kanina, medyo a little bit strong pa yung color niya as a blush. Kaya I used my foundation brush to buff out the color or to soften the blush para hindi siya gaano ka strong. So wala masyadong maingay na color dito sa cheeks area because I want the emphasis to be on the eyes and on the lips, but especially on the eyes. And after that, of course, I set my face with Squad Cosmetics na You Can Face It pressed powder. So this is in the shade naman na beige. So if you have dry skin like I do, I recommend that you stay away from baking your face because dry na nga yung skin natin. Pinapatungan pa natin ng madaming powder or like a dry substance. So that's why I use a lot of cream products underneath para hindi ko na kailangan mag-rely sa powder products. And after I set my face, I contour naman. And bago na yung contour palette na ginagamit ko ngayon. Usually, yung ginagamit ko kasi, yung EB Advance na Fig Trio palette. Kasi sobrang bet ko talaga to. And now I'm using this one from the Vice Cosmetics and Anklots collaboration. What I like to do when I contour is contour a little bit above it para mas ma-lift siya. Kasi when you contour right on the contour line or beneath it, your face is gonna look droopy. May illusion na parang bumababa yung face ninyo, which you wouldn't want. Alright, so for my eyebrows naman, I use Detail Cosmetics Super Fine Liner na eyebrow pencil. And I really, really love this. I highly recommend this pencil to you guys. So usually, yung mga skinny brow pencils, I reserve it for special occasions. And by special occasions, I mean when I apply lang hair-like strokes. So what I use to fill in my brows ay yung mga regular shape na eyebrow pencil. But for this occasion, the reason why I use this is para maka-save kayo, diba? So that you don't need to use 
to eyebrow products. Alright, so this is the part that you've been waiting for. Yung eyes. This part is super duper easy lang talaga gawin. By the way, for the eye makeup, I didn't use a single eyeshadow. But yung ginamit ko is yung Sunny Space na Fluff Matte in the shade Brunette. What I do when creating looks or doing tutorials is as much as possible. Dapat yung product ay pwede siya magamit for another part of the look para you can really maximize your investment on the product. So for example, yung fluff matte na to, hindi ko lang siya nagamit on my cheeks but also on my eyes and later on my lips. Pinocus ko lang muna yung pigment sa my lid area and then that's when I spread it with my finger. And yun pa, hindi na ako gumamit ng eyeshadow brush. You can really achieve this with just a lipstick and your finger. And then yung residue ng pigment sa finger ko is that's what I use dito sa crease area ko para ma blend out siya. Para hindi siya gaano ka harsh. From your lid area, super packed yung pigment and then slowly nag-fade out yung pigment. Para walang abrupt na cut. Recently, I developed a love for the Vice Cosmetics and Anne Klutz na eyeliners or pencil eyeliners specifically. You have to get both of them because maganda. They work together as a team. They are so, so good. I've been just like wanting to have an eyeliner look that's subtle as much as possible. Kasi usually yung mga liquid eyeliners, makikita mo talaga na sharp yung contrast. Makikita mo agad-agad na pak my eyeliner. This time around, I want it to be soft and subtle. Parang it, it doesn't give away agad na eyeliner siya. Pero parang Mapapa, hmm, I think there's something in your eye, but I can't point my finger on it, but it looks good. Parang ganun siya. For the soft lang browns, the brown shade is, this is what I use for my outer lid or the outer line. And the reason why I use the brown shade instead of the black one is para ito yung mag-achieve ng shadow and very soft looking na eyeliner look. It's not super obvious, but it's there. And for the black shade naman, this is what I use to tight line my eyes para mas maging kati tingnan yung eye ko. Kasi if nakikita pa rin yung fleshy color, parang may space and it just looks a little bit wonky and it makes my eyes look big. So I close the gap by applying a black eyeliner. Yung black na shade, siya yung nagko-compensate sa contrast. Kasi wala masyadong binibigay na contrast yung brown na shade. Kasi it's very soft. Pero yung black na shade naman, siya yung nagbibigay nun. Pero napaka-subtle pa rin kasi hindi siya nakalagay sa outer lid na line. Inner lid naman siya dun kung saan tayo nagta-tight line. By the way, for the soft brown pencil, para ma-achieve nyo yung low-key sharp wing pa rin, don't rely on the pencil to achieve a sharp wing because it will never achieve that kasi yung pencil nagdadol talaga siya you don't want to sharpen this as well so what you want to do make like a small triangle here sa outer lid ninyo use your use the side of your finger and then smudge it flick it like that yung movement na yun yung pag smudge ninyo yan yung gagawa ng wing liner effect kaya sharp siya tingnan and for my lashes naman this is from Smize Essentials and Smize Essentials is actually ano siya yung owner is part of the Boo fam so eto yung parang middle na ano hindi siya super thick hindi din siya gaano ka natural it's just in the middle it has this like perfect bat and for my adhesive yung ginamit ko is yung Marie Beauty na lash glue this is super duper affordable and super duper tea buy and guys I almost forgot the glitters on my eyes <laughs> nag apply na ako ng lashes hindi ko pa na apply yung glitters but usually I apply the glitters first but anyway for the glitters yung ginamit ko na adhesive is yung BYS na Glitter Fix Primer. And for the glitter, I was given this bronzy cosmetic grade glitter. By the way, hindi to magkasama. Yung BYS na glitter primer is freebie siya ng isang glitter set. And actually, yung BYS na glitter set, medyo mahal siya, 500 plus. Mm, yeah, it's super... It's kind of pricey. And since ito binigay lang sa akin ng isang makeup artist ko na friend, I don't have the direct product for you where you can buy this. I take a small amount of the glitter primer and then I apply it on my 
lid area and then I wait for a few seconds for it to set a little bit or medyo inaantay ko lang na medyo tacky siya not too wet not too dry just enough to be able to hold the glitter and to apply the glitter I still use my finger I concentrate the glitter sa lid area and then yung residue I also apply it sa my crease area parang parang faded tingnan and back to the Vice Cosmetics and Anklots na palette yung highlighter nila yung ginamit ko of course to highlight my face no first time ko ginamit to nagulat ako like who I was shook shook me blinding talaga ng highlighter na to as in kahit konti lang pagugulat ka like it's super whoa Mommy, look at me. Look, I'm killing it. Ganon siya ka blinding, guys. And lastly, for my lips, and dami talaga sa inyo ng tatanong kung ano yung ginamit ko na products for this look sa lips ko. Kasi I don't know, you guys like it, and I like it too. I actually used three products. It seems like a lot, but it's super simple lang actually. The two products are from Sunny's Face, yung fluff matte nila in the shades Brunette and nudist. So yung brunette, ito yung ginamit ko to lip line and to contour my lips. Para it has that like, mm, parang siya yung bra. I feel like lip liners are like the bra for your lips. It just gives this like umph and support. It's like your push up bra. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I grab a flat edge na lip liner brush and then I take a few pigments and then I line my lips. I concentrate the shade brunette dito sa edge ko. But I only apply the shade na brunette sa small area on the corners of my lips because hindi ko gusto na ma-overpower ng brunette na shade yung nudist. And then for the shade nudist naman, ito naman yung ilagay for the rest of the lip. Ito yung shade dapat na lumalamang, hindi yung shade na brunette. And for the third product that I used, yung pressed powder ng Squad Cosmetics. So I get a small amount of powder and dab it on top of my lips. I focus on the center of my lips. So that's why my lips look mas plump pa siya. So that's it for this tutorial. I can't wait for you guys to recreate this look. Kapag nag-selfie kayo, please do post it on Instagram para ma-share ko naman sa stories ko and so that I can tag you as well. So if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. And if you have any makeup or beauty questions for me, you can always message me on my Instagram account. It's a Makeup Babuya. If you have any more comments or video suggestions, then please do enter them down in the comment section below. Just remember, no hate, just love.